Chloe. Ready for another unboxing video? Mm-hmm. All right, got John Riggs here. Thanks for watching. And Lily Riggs here. Gonna show off a few pickups, gonna unbox a few things, and we'll see what we got. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna start this off really quickly just to show that um, I did grab the whole system, but I'll at least hold up the controller. I picked up the God of War Edition PlayStation oh. 4 Pro. Oh, Thank you. I was thinking about getting a PS4 Pro anyway. Now that I'm doing a whole lot of like PSVR gaming and I hear that it's better on the PlayStation 4 Pro. We don't have a 4K TV. In fact, the TV we use really is a 32 inch, you know, 720p. It was a Black Friday deal 10 years ago or 11 years ago. And so that's still when, the TV we use up there. When I was a baby or not born? No, when you were a baby, yeah. When you're a baby baby. And the TV we used before that was an old Jeez. tube television. So when so we had to upgrade. Yeah, I just I use stuff until it like literally falls apart. So um but now that I have the PlayStation 4 Pro, you know, our next purchase may be like a four K TV. We'll see. We'll see. Um We could just take the it's fine. our brother's TV and then yeah, that and his TV and his TV's a hand me down too. I mean, it's big, but it's not great. All right, so I have a PlayStation Four Pro now. Yay! Mm -hmm. And it's also, I guess, it's easier to uh, it um, when you use the screen capture built-in thing, like for uh, capturing video and all that. It it gets it at a better resolution and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. So um, I also picked up. I was one of those guys who was like, uh... I don't need the new Donkey Kong for Switch. And of course, Impulse Buy, I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, I'm going to get the new Donkey Kong for Switch, aren't I? So grab this. I never played the one for the Wii U. Um, I haven't played a Donkey Kong Country game since Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the Donkey Kong Country series. The controls were too slippery and all that. Um, kind of like how the old Sonic the Hedgehog worked, where it's just like, I run too fast, and then I run into an enemy who I didn't see was there. And I was like, I don't like that. I want to plan my strategy. So, but I played a little bit of that so far. I'll do a video on that later. Um, I grabbed through a trade through uh, my buddy Ken. He's another uh, PSVR guy looking for a complete set. Um, uh, I had a game he needed, and he had an extra one of these, which I didn't have yet. Um, I'm gutting for a complete set. I think at this point I have a complete US set, and now I'm kind of chipping away at the uh, UK exclusives. Uh, as far as physical games that never came out in America. Yeah, it's called Time Carnage. No, no, it's thanks. it's a sh shooting the dinosaurs no, game. No, no, so no, I haven't popped it in yet, but I'm looking forward to playing it. So thank thank you, Ken. I appreciate this, man. Kind of creepy. And then from Limited Run Games, I got Kill the Bad Guy. It's 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 a hilarious a hilariously fun game. All right, Lily, it is time for unbox. All right, we have one, no, 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 two no, big no. packages, three small packages, a couple of envelopes. And then this one, which I already kind of opened, and you already kind of had a little peeksy of what's inside. I'll need the um, honey bun. It doesn't say who it's from. S B uh, S no H S B H S B out of Flushing, New York. I'm not sure. Oh no. But there. Oh, and there is a note in here. Yeah. <clears throat> John, cleaning the house. Thought the kids might enjoy these. From Kevin C. I'm not looking. All right, let me look. Do 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 do. <laughs> a couple of Goombas and a Boo. This is from uh, this is from the World of Nintendo store. Yeah, look at that, World of Nintendo store. He was probably probably got them in New York. So Kevin, thank you, man. Laura's still in bed, and Jaren is playing Hi. plays playing Mario Odyssey. He's a, always playing Mario Odyssey. He's addicted to that game. He loves playing it. Wait, it's nothing wrong with that. I love Mario Odyssey too. I'm always down for new homebrews, and somebody reached mm -hmm. out to me on my uh, Rigged Games Facebook page saying, Hey, I got this uh, new Dreamcast game. You want to check it out? I was like, Of course. Of course. So I'll do a video on this later on too. I just want to show this off really quickly. It's called Hermes. I didn't, did I haven't already shown this off? I may have already showed this off. I remember this. I know, I'm getting a massive wave of deja vu. What's it? Deja vu is like when I feel like I've done something before. I think it's because I started to film this and then I realized I couldn't find my Dreamcast controller. Or I couldn't find my Dreamcast uh, AV cables. So I filmed it and then I was like, well, I can't play it because I can't find my cables. So I'm gonna. So just in case, I'm gonna show. It's worth showing off a second time. There's a new homebrew for the Dreamcast. It also works on like Windows, Mac OS, uh, even Amiga OS. Um, I don't know. A game by Retro Guru. Even comes with a little comic book to tell you a little backstory of uh, what it's all about. Wait, comic <laughs> and, and a new Dreamcast game. You can't go wrong with new Dreamcast games. I will do a video on this later on. So as I find those Dreamcast AV cables. Oh. This is a very heavy thing, Lily. You, I saw you just try to pick it up. This is... I know what this is. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a review on this later on too, but again, I'll just show you what it is right now. This is the uh, Helping Hands. Helping Hands. Again, I'll do a video on this later on. Sorry, Lily, we're blocking your face. But it's a, um, 
It's a way to hold your circuit board in place while you're doing soldering and stuff like that. But I want to I want to sh show so this. So kind of like this. that, but that's for a phone. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And along with that, I'll do a video on this later on too. Um, I was, I tried to use that one desoldering pump and it didn't work. I was like, it's not getting hot enough. And of course all the comments, which were not wrong, were saying like, oh, it's because it's a different voltage thing. I was like, well, if it's a diff different voltage thing, then it doesn't work. Like it's not a like, oh, it works great if you're in China. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I'm in America. <laughs> that means it doesn't work. So, you know, Candace from uh, Candace Games Rights, she does like Virtual Boy stuff and all that, um, suggested one of these, which is super, super cheap, but it is a cheap desoldering pump that I guess works pretty well. So I'll do a video on this here pretty soon. It is from Scott Schmidt from Kansas City. Sorry if they pronounced it wrong. I see comics. Is this a Street Fighter? Final Street? What? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, there's a note first. It says, hey John, belated happy birthday, man. Just wanted to say that I appreciate everything you do for the retro gaming community. As a token of gratitude, I want to send you a copy of my contribution to retro gaming, the first issue of my retro beat-em-up comic book, Final Street. It's a love letter to the classic brawlers like Double Dragon, uh, Final Fight, Streets of Rage. I hope you dig it. Also, the series has been picked up by Devil's Do Comics and is available for pre-order at comic shops across the country through the month of April. Uh, thanks again, and keep it rocking. Here is, I'll show off the, well, I'll show off the comic book first, because that's what he sent. That's cool, right? Look at the back. Great artwork on that. Yeah, there's like stickers and stuff in the back, too. <laughs> and then he also sent over a, uh, like, like a little poster for it. Is that in the old uh, Konami style? So it says Komani. <laughs> and then the logo's backwards. I'm looking forward to reading this. This is cool. Yeah, and you can um, pick it up from Devil's Do Comics. So, uh, awesome. And congrats for uh, having it picked up. And uh, look out for this um, as, so as soon as soon as possible. Oh, and here's a quick Instagram, too. I'll plug that, too. Check that out on Instagram, would you? Thank you. How fun. Well, I used to read comics quite a bit when I was younger. Um, and you still read them. I don't, I mean, I, I don't regularly anymore, but... Because of your phone. This is for my buddy Thor. He always hooks it up, man. I could hear something. <laughs> Lily. What does that sound like? Cereal or um, the pieces. I'm not <laughs> sure. I don't know. Candy? I don't know. I'm Th not sure. Thor's one of those buddies that's just like, man, I send you stuff for you. You don't need to do an unboxing video on it, but you but send it. Always. I'm going to do an unboxing video on it. Um, I thought you would add a few extra items with the CICs. He makes the little CIC chips, the, the lockout chips for um, oh. NES games, for repros and stuff like that. And um, buying them through websites can get pretty pricey, but he can make his own, so we usually work out a trade or something like that, or I just buy them from him direct. Uh, the stickers were forgotten from the last package, and I've included some candy in a store that I thought your kids might enjoy them. Hopefully they have not seen it before. I guessed it first. You have, I guessed it! You have that candy ESP, Liddy. I know. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh dear lord. All right. So, got my CICs. That's a lot of them too. Thank you, dude. That's cool. gonna. That's really? gonna. Th these are gonna be great for the upcoming game conventions I'll be attending. Oh my god. So we have. I haven't seen these before. Mike, it, Mike and Ike's Sundays, and then the Cherry Cola. Oh, I like Cherry Coke. I see. A couple of Pac-Man uh, okay. little candy games there, and then the Puffy Stickers. What? Wait, what? I'm sure she'll love it. Awesome. Thank you, Thor, man. I appreciate it. We're running out of room. Not that we have a whole lot of room on our table anyway. Oh, dear Lord. I'll help you hold it up. Yep. This is this big guy. It's full of stuff. I don't know. You paid, dude, I, I appreciate when people send me stuff. I, I really do. You don't um, have to send a big thing. I know. Um, <laughs> however, this, whatever, they paid 40 bucks in shipping. So unless you work at the post office, you get a discount or something like that. Man, that's that's above it. Oh, I know what this is. I do know what this is. I know. Yeah. Um, he reached out to me on Twitter about this. It says, hey, John, included in this package is the Sega Master System. I hate to get rid of it, but it's just not. It's just been sitting in a box uh, for a while and not getting used. I wanted to make sure it would give it to someone that would get some use out of it or at least give it um, to someone that would. The bottom of the system has a few cracks. But that's how I bought it. it. Doesn't affect the system. When I got the system, it also came with the 3D glasses. But one side was missing, and I replaced some metal. Uh, the glasses would always slip off my face, so I looked online for a replacement and found a different brand of shutter glasses that actually work with the console. I have included these uh, since 
<laughs> they sit on face much better than the original. I've also included the games that I had for the system in case there were any you didn't already have. I enjoy watching your cart repair videos, uh, even when they are unfixable, unable to fix them. It's nice to see that sometimes there's no quick magic fix. We also enjoy the videos with your kids and the occasional off-screen audio from your wife. Keep making the videos and we'll keep watching. From John Weber. John Weber. Find John Weber on uh, Outlet Pro. YouTube.com slash Outlet Pro as well as Outlet Pro on Instagram. John Weber on Twitter. I'll, I'll link that in the description below. And he sent over a great... Holy moly. Oh, dude. There's... Okay, I already see like several games I don't have. I, I have a... He reached out to me on Twitter saying <clears throat> that he has a Sega Master System did I want it? Or, you know, what I, did I need one or anything like that? And I was like, you know, like, I don't have a Master System. I have the Power Base Converter, and that's how I play Sega Master System games. And he's like, well, dude, I have a Sega Master System, um, and it's going to you. So, uh, aside with, from the cords and all that. Okay, so he included... Okay, I kind of want to We have... I just want to try are, These are the 3D glasses for the Master System, which I've never had, and as well as some shutter glasses that I guess work for the system. Uh, that's awesome. The thing's 3D. Well, no, it doesn't work that way. You have to play the game in 3D. <laughs> you look pretty cool in them, though. <laughs> I can see how they slide off. Everything is packaged so beautifully. Yeah, I, I, I had a Sega Master System in the early 90s um, when the Sega Genesis was just making steam. I found a used Sega Master System, so I picked that up in a bunch of games back in the day. Oh, I had, like... Moonwalker for the Master System. I had Sonic for the Master System. I had a few games for the Master System. Still, beautiful console. I, I love how this looks. I just love how it looks. And there's the expansion module in there, too. That's for this. That's for the glasses. This is the controller and the zapper. Is it a zapper? Yep. Or it's zapper? not the zapper. It's whatever it's called for the Master System. Help me out in the comments, would you? And the games he sent, there's several really good games here. Hang on to the Safari Hunt. Outrun. Afterburner. Penguin Land. I love Penguin Land. <laughs> Penguin. Action Fighter. Very generic name, but still cool game. We have Alien Syndrome. Great version of Alien Syndrome. Galaxy Force. This is the one to have, man. And especially for the 3D glasses. Maze Hunter 3D. Fun game here. Zaxxon 3D. Awesome. And Eagle... And Blade Eagle 3D, which is admittedly one I haven't heard of, but looks like my kind of game. Again, thank you so much. And if you want to check out his channel, uh, link in the description below, all right? It's been about that. Oh, we have another um, we have another Limited Run Games game. Limited Run Games is now doing PlayStation VR games. So I picked up their first one, which is Pixel Gear, Pixel Gear. So thank you, Limited Run Games. Thank you for doing PlayStation VR games. I appreciate it. The more physical games, the better. Finally, we have a box from overseas. And not that it says game. It says well, it's overseas, but it's from a um, it's from an APO box, which is like a. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what's inside. Okay, I know what this is now. Where's the note? Hmm. We have what feels like a GameCube. GameCube. <laughs> Do you already have one? I do have one, but not the silver color one. <laughs> yeah. Oh! This is the Japanese Green Cube. I don't have a Japanese Game Cube. Oh boy, I think I know what this is. If this is what I think it is, and it's about the same size, and something I don't have yet, I'm not going to scream, but I will... Yeah, it is what I think it is. What is it? This is a little something called the Game Boy Advance adapter. This is the this is the Game Boy player for the GameCube. This plugs into the GameCube. You have to play this disc and then you can play Game Boy Advance games on your TV, which you are so excited for. You have no idea how exciting this is for me. That's actually really cool. It's very cool because um, before you had to play Game Boy Advance games on your Game Boy Advance, which kind of hard to see, small screen. But with this, it'll be much bigger. And with that Game Boy, uh, that new Game Boy, uh, whatever it's called, and with that new GameCube adapter, that you can play games in HDMI. You can capture HDMI footage for Game Boy Advance games, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thought there was a note. I mean, I remember opening it. I think I saw a note. What happened to the note? Where's the note? Is there a note? Maybe there wasn't a note. I had the, I mean, because I, I opened them in advance just so they're open, so I'm not fiddling, you know, wasting time fiddling around with it. Where's the note? 
And it's the note. Oh, well, if there's... Oh, man. All right. right. So um, it fell out of the box, and then I spilt uh, soda. And then when I picked it up, I was like, there's the note. It fell out of the box, and I couldn't find it. Here's what the note said, because I don't want you to miss out on this either. Uh, it says, hey, John, it is I, Fox, enclosed here within is a box. Uh, in this box is a cube, and what you do with it is up to you. Uh, but seriously, happy belated birthday from Okinawa. Uh, this week at least, I'll probably be back in Korea or another assignment by the time this reaches you. I made the slip up, no, you made the slip up, of not having a Game Boy player in one of your live streams. I was easily able to put one with the disc here in Japan with one issue, all Japanese parts and smarts. So I did what any proper gifter would do. I hackled the guy to get the whole GameCube as well for a little added cheddar on my behalf. Uh, so now you have a whole Japanese system. Fortunately, the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy are region free. So I have no doubt that I'll play all of your Game Boy games. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, don't worry about... Don't worry, this didn't put me out. I'm actually happy to give gifts for my travels. Since I travel alone for work, it gets boring. This is really the only way I can participate in uh, being part of the U.S. gaming community, being trapped here over a decade on work assignments. You're not alone. I picked up some other odds and ends for other people you might know, like Adam and Kelsey. Why not? I'm here, after all. I really like your channel and your positive, family-friendly content. Uh, perhaps this, uh, perhaps you'll have an opportunity to visit Asia I no doubt, um, I doubt I'll ever make it to a convention or anything. It's too far to travel, but you never know. Either way, it'd be cool to meet you in person one day. Keep it real um, and take it easy. From Fox, and you can check out Fox on YouTube. No, uh, there's a there's a Twitter here. Um, you long grad, I'll, or you you oh you long road. All right, I'll link that in the description below. Thank you very much. I'm so glad I found this note. I was like, I knew, like when I opened it up, I saw there was a note and then I saw the bubble wrap. But I was like, okay, cool, there's a note. And I closed it back up. And then when I got home, I probably just opened it up and it fell out and landed on the uh, floor. And I'm glad um, I spilt um, I spilt my drink. Not that I'm glad I spilt my drink, but I'm glad I'm glad that's what happened. And then I found this note um, from the unboxing earlier today. Now it's later on at night. And um, thank you. Thank you very much. Really, Lily? You're going to do that? <laughs> All right. Well, those are the things that we have to unbox today. Thank you for watching. Never an obligation. I'll leave my uh, address as always in the About section. Check out my mailing address in the About section of this video. Can I join the video? But the video's all done. There's no more to the video. We're going to say our goodbyes. Mm -hmm. And we'll say until next time. Which will probably mean never. What are you doing? Sorry, Dad. I'm taking over now. Okay, there you go. All right. And so. I look like I have gotten the greatest <laughs> sleep in my life. Yeah, I know you just woke up, huh? Yeah, it's. It's Sunday. I was gonna wake up. Forty-nine. That's all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, and more videos are always on the way. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.